Welcome back, Destructive News. News, no matter how, destructive. And what I want to do is I want to take a look at this video here. California Attorney General Rob Bonta discusses new racial justice bureau police reform. So this is an old video. It's from 2021. This is the Attorney General of the state of California. This dude is like a rainbow guy he's all about black and brown he's all about yellow he's all about stopping white supremacy white supremacy is the greatest threat in america today never mind that you can't afford to put gasoline in your vehicle and that the company that you work for probably no longer exists um screw all that stuff gang violence out of control uh daytime murders None of that matters. White supremacy is the number one threat to American lives, the number one threat to Californians. And he's going to talk about this. And let's listen to what this guy's about. Also, this is the guy that leaked law abiding citizens conceal carry permit records on accident just after the Supreme Court struck down all of their unconstitutional firearms laws that only hinder citizens and emboldened gang members let's take a look good morning thanks for having me you bet you've been in office for a month you've laid out an ambitious agenda including the creation of a racial justice bureau uh, what would the bureau do spend all your tax well, dollars the racial justice bureau is absolutely critical to no it's not on the current racial justice uh, reckoning that we're in and, and making sure that we're fighting for more so they like to use these terms, racial justice reckoning. What does that mean? Literally nobody knows what you're talking about. And will they explain it? No, they'll just keep on moving forward. Opportunity, more equity, more justice, more inclusion. For One of the specific things that the Racial Justice Bureau is going to do, which will have uh, additional attorneys from the DOJ, significant resources allocated to it, is take on the full-on state of emergency and state of crisis that we're in with respect to violence against the API community. Hate. API. He's talking about Asians. And if there's one thing we know about the Asian community, they are under attack right now. But the problem is they're under attack by sun people. They're under attack by vampires. They're not under attack. There's no, can you find me or can you look, even in your local cities, if you've got a large Asian population, can you go to these cities and you see all of these Asian hate crimes that are happening? It is real. Asian hate is real. This stuff is happening. People are attacking Asians simply because they're Asian. But the thing about it that they're not telling you is that it's happening by one group of people, an overwhelming majority of these attacks on Asians across this country are coming from sun people, vampires. Vampires are attacking Asians across America. And watch the way he words this. Watch carefully. Violence. So standing up for victims, providing support uh, for those who are being attacked, holding accountable those who perpetrate hate violence and helping victims heal is going to be critical. We're also going to be. This is great. This is great. He's do he wants to do these things. He wants to stop the out of control Asian hate in California, which we know is out of control. We are seeing vampires attack Asians all over the state of California. It's happening in New York. But I've noticed a lot of the random crazy violence against them is coming from vampires. Let's listen to watch what he does right after having that conversation, that little piece about what he's doing um, with the Asian heat and the funding. Watch this. Be, um, looking into organizations that are organized around hate and white supremacy. Boom, white supremacy. He's trying to make he's he's very careful in the structure of what he's saying. He knows that white people are not attacking Asians. He knows that. We know that. But the way he worded it, he made it seem like white supremacist groups are attacking Asians. when we all know that that is not true. And making sure uh, that they are uh, brought to justice if violating the law and hurting Californians. We're going to look at issues like school uh, climate to make sure we're providing support and resources for young people as opposed to, to punitive um, responses. So there's quite an array of, of work, all animated by the uh, driving principle of promoting more racial justice in the state of California through the California Department of Justice. 
What about you gang also members? You want to hold a virtual gathering of mayors in California to address hate crimes in their cities. Talk about some of the key concerns, especially ones that mayors have, have brought to you and discussed with you. You know, right now it's all hands on deck. We need every Not leader, really. in, uh, whether it be in, in the community or in elected positions, whether it be city, state level, federal level, county level, working together, uh, uh, rowing in the same direction to help address uh, this state of emergency and state of crisis for the API community. And that means working with big city mayors um, and making sure that uh, I am uh, using uh, best practices scaled at, at, the, at the state level, that I'm uh, that we're sharing ideas and, and best practices for how to prevent hate violence in the first place or to hold accountable those who perpetrate it or to support victims uh, who are heart, hurt by it uh, so working together are, is absolutely critical and we've seen in they're not they're not going after the people that commit these crimes because they're sun people children of the sun vampires and that kind of hits you know that's who they're looking to protect oh we've got to protect black people and then, oh, wait, black people are the ones that are committing like, I don't know, 90 plus percent of the hate crimes against Asians. So we can't do that. So we can't we can't go after these people. So we have to get on television and pretend like it's white supremacy. That's the problem. And some of the, the big cities uh, that I'll be uh, uh, the mayors of which I'll be working with some of the most horrific uh, crimes against the API community in San Francisco, the murder uh, of a Thai man. In, in an act of apparent hate violence in, mm. in Oakland, uh, in Oakland Chinatown, one of our beloved seniors and elders being, being shoved to the ground so mm. violently uh, By and who? cruelly. So who's doing uh, this? It's important that we're working together and I'm looking forward to the- Who's beating on these elderly Asian people? Who's killing these Asian people? Tell us, Rob, let us know. Convening and I'm, I'm thankful to our big city mayors across the state of California for their hard work and we will get more done when we work together. A new law goes into effect in July that requires the Attorney General to investigate police shootings of unarmed civilians. Doesn't this all I think that's fair. already happen at the local level? Um, is it necessary? And, and if so, how, how will you always been a move thing. forward with this? These investigations can happen at, at the local level, but they haven't always. And it's really important that we have thorough, comprehensive, accurate uh, outside investigations of officer-involved shootings that result in the death of an unarmed Californian because that's what the law requires. It should happen. I mean, you know, granted, we're dealing with B-Squad everything. Everything in America because of the poor reaction to the unmentionable disease has been flipped upside down. Every business, every customer-facing employee in every business in this country since 2020 is the B squad. The original employees that ran service, that ran all of these customer facing businesses are gone. They are no longer in the workforce. They've changed their careers, gone into white collar work, or they're simply abusing uh, the lax laws with the IRS, with uh, PPP loan. There's some new scam that I'm hearing about that's out where you can you can get about twenty thousand dollars by lying on your tax forms. I saw you know a group of young uh, vampires talking about it on Facebook. So understand, understand. This is a big game that they've been playing with us. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, AB fifteen oh six. Uh, a bill that I, as an assembly member, was proud to co-author with my colleague, assembly member Kevin McCarty, um, goes into effect on July 1st for the first time. And we expect that the California Department of Justice will be responsible, responsible for about 40 uh, investigations of officer-involved shootings um, that result in the death, death of an unarmed Californian each year. So we are absolutely committed to uh, getting staffed up, making sure we're, we're ready on day one. Uh, to do this well, to do it right, to get on the ground early in the investigation, to collect evidence and preserve it and um, present a case for consideration of, of charging, uh, for a charging decision. And, and uh, it is very important it's because it's the, it's the duty and responsibility of the California Attorney General based on the law of California. You're also going after criminal misconduct by state law enforcement. What can you tell us about this recent arraignment of two former CHP officers who are accused of taking bribes to falsify vehicle registration? 
um, that's one of the things you're going to be looking at. I agree with this part. We will hold uh, accountable anyone who uh, commits a crime uh, based on the investigation that we've conducted or that uh, 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 an allied jurisdiction has, has conducted uh, to make sure that people are brought to justice. And uh, here in this case, uh, there was an investigation into two California Highway Patrol officers that were uh, inappropriately taking bribes uh, to um, and, and changing DMV records and Carmax records. There's a um, lot of criminals. For cars that, that are in the gray market, meaning cars that might not meet the, the emission standards or other requirements to, to be legal in California. And that's wrong. And it's against the law. And we're saying loud and clear, whoever you are, whatever your position, uh, if you violate the law, we will hold you accountable. And uh, you're also seeking a dollar for dollar matching grant to assist local authorities to reduce the backlog of unprocessed sexual assault evidence. How big is this issue and, and how much money? Are you going to go after the rapist, though, knowing that there, there are overwhelming majority of them, percentage wise, is coming from vampires? Money and time will be dedicated to addressing it. It's a big issue. Every sexual assault evidence kit that uh, has not been processed Vamp means life. that there is a survivor who has not been given justice. And uh, we owe it to survivors as well as uh, to California and, and to our system to actually process these, uh, this evidence and, and make sure that uh, we go where the evidence leads. And this is, there's a significant um, backlog uh, throughout our local jurisdictions in the state of California. It is very important to me that justice be done for survivors. So we wanted to lean in uh, early with important resources to help those who need the resources to process these sexual assault evidence kits throughout the state of California. So uh, it's a significant problem. It's a priority for me. And uh, we are making significant inroads with our dollar for dollar matching grant. California Attorney General Rob Bonta, thank you for your time and uh, joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. So I just wanted to kind of just show you what this guy was about, what his agendas are. He is a rainbow man. He's all about all of the, the new um, groups of people that they believe are going to carry America into the future. Uh, the experiment that has been running for the last, I don't know, 10 years. Uh, seems to be a big pile of steaming dog poop. It doesn't work. Uh, America is probably in the worst place that it's been since I've been alive. Uh, the, the, the markets are crashed. The housing market is out of control. Crime is literally everything is bad right now. And they've been running this play. They've been running this play since Obama left office. Uh, this new play, because they get a lot of people saying, oh, they've been doing this for years. They've been doing it. No. They've actually got plays. They've got documentation. They've got a plan. They've been running it. This is new. The idea is not new. But this play, these people, like you said, he's connecting with big city mayors. He's connecting with very specific big cities. He's not just going out there connecting with big cities all across America or the region. He is connecting with the cities that have leadership in place from the new age DAs. That's what he does. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of just have a documentation of California, the attorney general, what he's about in, in his own words. Thank you for checking out the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this guy in the comment section. Peace.